this is Cody Zarr, owner of Desert Diamond Pools. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably the proud new owner of an Ecotec EZ variable speed pool motor. This motor is actually mine. Um, I don't sell or install anything I don't personally believe in or have tested myself. Um, so you've got a good product in your hands and I'm going to show you some basics on how to use it here. Uh, the bare minimum, essentially, there will be a later video on how to program your own time schedules. Uh, I would, however, recommend leaving what we've programmed intact as it is a fairly complicated process. Um, however, I will go over the basics here with you. Your most important button is that one that's illuminated right now. It is the run stop button. It, think of this as more of an on off switch as opposed to an actual button. Um, as soon as I kick this thing off, the screen goes blank. It's telling me, uh, even though it is Saturday, it's not going to run its Saturday Sunday program. You know, if I push it one more time, everything comes back to life and we can see Saturday Sunday flow one. That means that it will run its program. Uh, and if it's you know, a weekday, you'll see Monday through Friday flow one. The, the pump allows you to differentiate between weekday run cycles and weekend run cycles just based on different people's electricity plans and savings and such. Um, that's the most important function. If you do not have that run stop button in the appropriate position, uh, it, the pump will not run. It will not run come hell or high water um, unless you have that button on. All right, your next function, and probably just as important, is how to turn the pump on when it is off uh, or outside of its normal, normally designated program. This run custom flow button is probably the easiest way to do this. We press this button one time, and we get a menu on the screen, and it says basically what the pump will do if we press enter and then in the center it does say press enter to confirm if desert diamond installed your motor you most likely have two custom flow speeds already set one for a high speed at three hours and then one for a low speed at five hours and if we were to press enter right here um, the pump would take off and run at 85 percent flow for three hours as you can see that's illustrated on the screen there um, now it is uh, winding up and starting I'm going to go ahead and stop that with the run stop button here just so I can show you the other speed we've set up. I'm going to hit the run stop button again to get that screen back. Now I'm going to go down to the custom flow button one last time. Now if I want to change um, the speed of the pump in the custom flow setting, it's very easy. All I need to do is hit the up arrow here to get to custom flow 2. You see down there at the bottom we're cycling between 1 and 2 right now. There's actually 4 total but the uh, additional two are kind of redundant. You really do either need a high speed or a very low speed. The low speed is good for things like slightly cloudy water or you know liquid chemical additions, acid, um, algicides, clarifiers, this sort of thing. Uh, moves the water more slowly through the filter, whereas the high speed is good for you know obviously getting your pool cleaner moving or your pop-up system going. Now on this custom flow two, it's the same as the first. If we press enter at this point on the screen we will start the pump up in the prime mode and it will run on the low speed after it primes. So again, custom flow and then select which of the two custom flows you want, one or two, and then just hit enter. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please subscribe. Don't forget to find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.